Hi there, this is a quick uh, video about how I update uh, my courses every week and create my weekly welcome video for my students. So I'm just going to run through really quickly my process. So the first thing I do is I come to my course page and I open up um, my modules area and I go to whatever week the module is and I open up the introduction for that week. The introduction always has, and all of my courses has, uh, links to all of the pages in the module. So I go ahead and just hold down the command button and click to open up each of these pages in their own tab. Then I um, sort of rearrange them a little bit because I break out the assignment so I know that uh, uh, roles is going to go there and then um, that's that's basically how that goes. And this is just so that it's it's more natural as I run through all of the content. I then uh, start recording in Camtasia, which I have um, uh, a project that I've already recorded here, but I'll go back to um, the web browser and I'll show you that as I record, I basically talk through each page and I click into each tab. I might even open up um, required readings and so forth uh, that are there so that students can see what those pages look like. Um, and that will uh, help in terms of explaining things to students. And I'll go over the basics of what each assignment is, what they're expected to do, um, what content they're going to come in contact with, and try to make it relevant to them in some way. Um, I also try to keep some personality in it. So I mention when things are going to be tough or when things are going to be easy or whatnot. And then I always give a little bit of a summary of what the week's going to be like, if there's any special events or if there's um, anything that they need to have on their radar, uh, if I'll be around like normal, or if there's any times that I'm going to be out. Once I finish that, um, I come back to Cam Camtasia, I hit stop recording and Camtasia dumps me in like this. And this is the actual edit process that I go through. I try to keep things incredibly simple. The first thing I do is I always want to cut off the last part of the video where I actually stop the recording because I feel like that looks like a little bit ugly. So I will select both feeds and then just hit split at playhead sorry, select both channels, hit s select split at playhead, and then just hit the delete button, and that'll delete the extra. Then I'll put myself back to the beginning of the video, and I usually scroll through until I see the web page start to move, and I figure out about where that is, and that's about where I'm going to want to fade out my first fade out. So the next thing that I do is I adjust my canvas size to be 720p, because I, um, I'm going to upload this to Canvas directly and I want it to be small. Then I'm going to select both channels again and then right click on the channels in the stage here and hit scale to fit. And that pops my video right up here. I'm then going to click off and then click back onto just the video part. And I'm going to drag my fade out effect down onto the video here, which is then going to cause my video to fade out and it will show the content that I'm scrolling through. Now if I hit any parts that are especially boring, I'll sometimes fade in at other times, but in general, um, I, I kind of want to fade in, and I know that right around here is about where I stop uh, talking about the assignment and I start talking more generally about the week. So I'm going to fade in so that students get to see me while I talk about more generally about the week, and I say goodbye to them and everything, um, and that's the end of the video. So then I just go up to share and hit export, and then save my video like normal and that will um, that will export the video for uploading. Once the video has been exported for uploading I come back to the web browser I can close all these extra tabs that I don't need and I go to edit the home page and when I edit the home page I need to do two things I need to move last week's video down out of the gray box and then I need to update the content in the gray box. It's important that the gray boxes only contain the content for the current week. That's how we draw students' attention to what's happening just this week. Um, and then other videos get embedded down below so that students can always go back and they can always rewatch a video if they want to. So the way that I'd like to do this is in the HTML mode, I scroll up to the very top and I look for a paragraph that includes just a link and I look for this phrase here, media comment. And that's what, the, what tells me that, that that paragraph is it. If I just triple click in that paragraph, it will select the entire paragraph, and then I can hit Command X to cut. Obviously, if you're on a PC, you'll want to update things in your own time, or update the, the cut and paste commands 
according to your keyboard. Um, then I place the cursor in the paragraph below the H3. That is the introduction for the week. So this is the week three video. So I just place the cursor right there and then hit paste and it pastes in that media comment. Now if I return to the rich content editor, there's no video up here, but if I go down here to week three, there's now a video here. So that's great. That's the update. I've moved the video out of the gray box and into the list below. Then I'm gonna copy this content here for week four, and I'm going to come up to the gray box. I'm going to paste in week four, update the heading, and we're almost done except for we just have to upload the video. And to upload the video, I'm gonna use Record Upload Media. I'll hit the button, I'm gonna hit Upload Media, and then I'm going to select the video file. It's the week four video. I always update the title to be a little more, a little more human friendly. And then we just wait for it to upload. Once it finishes uploading, just hit Save, and we're done uploading, updating our page. So that's the basics of how I update a video each week in my courses for web application technology studies here at Seattle University using uh, Camtasia 2 for the video recording and editing and then uh, all of our courses are hosted in the Canvas LMS. I hope this is helpful to you. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.